everyone, we're going to find the four fourth roots of negative 16, so the complex roots. And this number here can be expressed as negative 16 plus 0i. And I'm going to graph it in just a minute, but this can be expressed in polar form as 16 cis of pi. Because this would be 16 uh, times cosine of pi plus i sine of pi. And sine of pi is just 0. Cosine of pi is negative 1. So that gives you your negative 16. So let's graph this. Um, you can also see it when you have a negative 16 in polar form. That means this is your real part. This is your imaginary part. And so negative 16 uh, plus 0 i is right here. So if I go by 2's, we'll do 2, uh, uh, let's see, 1, 2, 3, let's go by 2's, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16. So if you go by 2's here, this would be, uh, 16 cis of pi because you can see where this is this right here is 180 degrees so what we can say now is that c4 equals negative 16 all right so that means r cis of some angle let's call it alpha to the fourth equals 16 cis of pi. That means um, r to the fourth cis of 4 alpha from our previous um, complex numbers equals 16 cis, whoops, can't write, cis of pi. Now, that means uh, r to the fourth equals 16, so r um, equals 16 to the one-fourth, which equals 2. We want our r to be positive, because we're going to pi and when you're plotting polar coordinates. And then our angle, we have 4 alpha equals pi because we have 4 alpha equals pi. So we want to do uh, pi plus multiples of 2 pi. All right, so we have um, alpha equals pi divided by 4. And if you divide this by 4, you're going to get plus multiples of pi divided by 2. So I'll just put k in front of that for multiples. So we're going to get alpha, if we have to go from 0 to 2 pi, we're going to get alpha equals pi divided by 4, 3 pi divided by 4, 5 pi divided by 4, and 7 pi divide it by 4. So the fourth, fourth roots of negative 16 are going to be C1 equals 2 cis of pi divided by 4. C2 equals 2 cis of 3 pi divided by 4. C3 equals 2 cis of 5 pi divided by 4, and c4 equals 2 cis of 7 pi divided by 4. Now these equal 2 square root of 2 plus i square root of 2 when you write it in rectangular form, negative square root of 2 plus i square root of 2 this one's going to be negative square root of 2 minus i square root of 2. 
and this one's going to be square root of 2 minus i square root of 2. All right, so let's plot this again. So we have our negative 16, or 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So um, this is the first one we drew. And then for our other ones, we had 2 pi over 4. So we'll go out. Um, I'm going to go out a little bit. So this one would be 2 comma pi divided by 4. This one would be 2, because we're going by 2's here. Uh, 2 comma 3 pi divided by 4. This one would be 2 comma 5 pi divided by 4. That's in quadrant 3. And this one would be 2 comma 7 pi divided by 4. All right, and then you draw your arrows here. So that's your um, argon um, diagram. And um, we can express these uh, with this formula right here. So we want to get the nth roots of um, our complex numbers. We can use this formula. Now, we need to show that our z's add up to 0. So we're going to do, so to add C1 plus C2 plus C3 plus Z4, you just add them all up from the previous slide. So that's going to be square root of 2 plus I square root of 2 plus negative square root of 2 plus I square root of 2 plus negative square root of 2 uh, minus i square root of 2 plus um, square root of 2 minus i square root of 2. And we have to show that it equals 0. <coughs> so let's just cross things out. These two uh, subtract out. Um, these two subtract out. These two subtract out. And these two subtract out. So we do get 0. All right. Um, any fourth root of negative 16 must satisfy this equation. C to the fourth equals uh, negative 16. So we're going to use a theorem and rewrite this as Z to the fourth plus 16 equals 0. And the theorem we're going to use is this one. All right. So for the sum of the roots, um, we already know that this equals 0. Um, there's not a quadratic, um, oh, there's no cubic term. So if we have z to the 4th, and then our um, plus 16 equals 0, we don't have um, a cubic term. This has to go in order, like a to the 4th, plus b cubed plus c squared and so forth. And so we're just going to use the um, what we did here to show that they equal 0. Now for the product of the roots, <coughs> all you have to do is since this is uh, even, we're going to use positive and then our constant term is 16, and the previous uh, term would be 1, so that just equals 16. And so we showed that um, this, the product of the roots is 16. And that's it. Thank you. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.